Hey everyone, this is Victor from Growth Evolution Development Ground, gdground.com. And in this video, I'd like to address the really popular question, is blogging dead? And I'd, I'd like to also give you the 10 reasons why you should start a blog if you're on the fence. Now, people ask this question, is blogging dead? If I start a blog, will anybody read it? Will I be able to grow my audience? Will I be able to make money this way? And if you ask me all of these questions, I'll respond by asking you, are coffee shops dead? Are restaurants dead? Are repair shops dead? These have been around for a very long time. There are many of these in every city. You have them all over the place, yet they're being, all, they're being used, they're being visited by people all the time. So the fact that the internet is more packed today with blogs and with websites in general should not push you away. If you're doing it truly out of passion, if that's what motivated you in the beginning to start a blog, you will never be, um, you will, competition will not be of question to you ever because you're going to focus only on your own blog because you're, you care about it. You're doing it because it interests you and it's fun for you. The fact that there's many more blogs today than there were 10 years ago has only made the internet crowded, more crowded with junk, with low quality content, and so as a result, that should not be of any worry to you. Um, so what is the number one reason why you should start a blog? Well, I'd say the famous nine to five rat race. Um, the thing is that when I was a teenager, I used to work mostly on physically demanding jobs. I'd go to construction sites and just be moving people's furniture from one apartment to another, really hard jobs. And my parents always told me, you need a degree because you will get good education and then you get a good job, well-paying job, you get a house, car, and so on. And I took their word because I saw how physically demanding certain jobs are and I didn't want any of that. I thought that when I do finish my uni, my studies, I'll get a nice job and the nine to five will, well, I didn't even think of it as a nine to five then, but I didn't think it would be a problem. I thought I'd be enjoying it. Comes first day of my work, as a software developer, something that I studied for three and a half years for. I sit there and by the end of the day, I'm like, I'm not enjoying this. It's not about s s software development even so much. It's not about the company, although I was earning bare minimum, something I also didn't expect at that moment. But well, my skills weren't really that good yet at the moment, software skills. But nevertheless, I sat there and I thought to myself, I really don't like to do things that I don't want to do at the moment. I don't like to take uh, like I don't like somebody commanding and telling me what to do. I want to be my own boss. And so that kind of started the, that started to, that motivated me to start taking action, to look for opportunities. And at the same time, while I was changing, making myself better, taking myself out of the hole, so to say, I wanted to share this experience with others and help others. And starting a blog on the topic of niche, on the niche of self-development was a logical um, outcome, a solution to all of this. And that's how I uh, started a blog. So if you're thinking that can a blog take you out of the nine to five, if that is one of your goals, then it absolutely can. Uh, number two, of course, work from anywhere. If you feel like sick and you don't want to go to work, you don't have to, you can stay at home. Your laptop is your office. Uh, you don't want to, you want to spend more time with your family, with the people you love. Sure, go ahead. You want to work from a beach, if there's internet, of course, and drinking your, I don't know, pina colada or whatever, gin tonic, whatever you're drinking. You can do it because you're not in a hurry anywhere. So you get this freedom. It's an online business. Like I said, it's a business in any case, and it's online. And that means you're not, you don't need to constantly be somewhere at your home, in your office. You can work at a coffee shop. You can work in another country. You can even work on that beach. So the freedom to work from anywhere you want. Uh, reason number three is make passive income. Now, in case you don't know what is passive income, that means income that is, well, let's put it simply, the notorious make money while you sleep. Well, it's actually true because you do certain things and you make money is coming to you while you're sleeping. So instead of working like at a nine to five where you're exchanging hours for a salary, you, it doesn't work this way. Here you get money for the results. Now, Passive income is not something you get like this. It's something you have to work hard for. I'm not trying to create an illusion for you that blogging is this super simple thing. No, it's not. But I'm giving you the reasons and the opportunities that you can get if you start blogging. And passive income is when you, for example, make a review of some product and you leave a link to it, which is called affiliate marketing. You leave a link to that product and every time somebody buys, 
that product through your link, you get a commission for it. And so you can do this review once and you get paid over and over and over again as long as people start coming, as long as people are attracted to your blog, read your blog posts and buy through you. And ultimately, ultimately that leads to passive income, to you making money while you sleep. So an incredible opportunity. Um, of course, uh, one thing, yeah, passive income, some, for some people you might ask, be asking like, how long will it take me to make passive income? Well, some people start doing it in a year. For some people it takes seven years. Like I said, it's not an easy thing. You, it depends on how hard you work. It depends on what your strategies are. It depends who you collaborate with and so on. But the opportunities are there. Mm. Another thing is that you help other people. But like I said, I helped myself. I was able to take myself out of this negative place and help myself. And the, the thing that I wanted to do is to help others. And every time um, I wrote something, I, I was focused not on making money, but I was focused on putting out there something that will actually help people, something that people will care about. And when I got my first email of a person saying me, thank you for what you do, I realized that I'm not doing this for no reason. I'm helping someone and that creates fulfillment. The best kind of fulfillment, well, well the f happiness is not really long lasting. Fulfillment is when you're constantly helping other people, you feel fulfilled and that brings you, brings happiness into your life. So if helping others is your thing, then trust me, you can do that with your blog. Um, and of course, you have to understand that blogging isn't complicated. Now, it's not easy either, but I'm going to get into that really soon. The thing, what I mean here is that even your grandma can do it. Starting a website, building it is, you can do it literally in a matter of minutes. And so uh, blogging isn't complicated compared to some, you know, like if you're starting an IT company or a logistics company the, where the learning curve is like this. Blogging, you get to do it as you proceed. You get to learn as you go on. And it's really not that complicated and some people will actually use that as an argument kind of like tease you with it i've heard all kind all, all kind of things over the years and people will say like what i do at my job i actually make products i help other companies my things are my work is tangible i get a salary at the end of the day for it or like at the end of the month what do you what do you do you're you're like selling air and hoping that people will buy it well the thing is that people can say whatever you want but um but the truth is that uh, blogging requires your creativity and it requires hard work. If you think about, like, like I've done blogging for over three years and I've been writing weekly thousands and thousands of words and without a break, try that. Tell a person that, do you think this is easy? So in a way it requires creativity and creativity is not something that can always be out there in front of you. It's something that you have to work for, something that you have to create in yourself. Also the fact of writing, you know, it's complicated, it's difficult. Writers understand me. If you have a blog, you know exactly what I'm talking about. If you're writing posts that are longer than 500 words, you know exactly what I'm talking about because sometimes you sit there and you have this writer's blog where you just can't push it out of yourself. You just don't know what to write about or how to paraphrase your thoughts and so on. So while blogging is, is easy, it's the easiest probably online business out there that even your grandma can do that can also make you millions eventually if you st stick to it. But um, yeah, compared to other things, it, it's super easy, but it, it requires your consistency, hard work and dedication. That's the part that's hard with blogging, not the technical stuff, not the actual idea of how do you blog. Um, People worry about competition. Like I said previously, people think that, well, there are so many blogs out there and that how am I going to compete with them that they've been around for 10, 15 years, you know, like blogs or like websites like HuffPost or Lifehack that were started in 2005. Well, think about it this way. Even if they had zero competition, those blogs, they've been doing it for 15 years now, about 15 years. Do you think that's easy? No, they didn't worry about competition. They did it out of passion. And that's why they kept going no matter what. Um, if you do it out of passion, if you take something you love thinking about, talking about, writing about, then blogging will not be a problem for you. And you won't be worried about competition. You have to focus. Losers focus on the winners. Winners focus on themselves. They focus at the work they do and they try to make it as good as possible. And like I said, also competition means, um, it means that, um, 
it me when when competi when there is competition it means there's a demand and that is a good thing that means um, people want to read what you're writing think about it if there would be no competition then you know prob then probably there's no money to make that way or there's something wrong with it so competition is a good thing there's a lot of junk out there poor quality blogs poor quality websites poor quality texts out there don't worry about it competition should not worry you a single bit just make sure you do it out of passion um, also, you learn a lot by blogging. Um, my blog has become my school, my education. Uh, ever since I started blogging, I started, I don't like just getting ahead of myself. I don't know. I'm not an expert in every single thing that I write about. So what happens is I research stuff. I read books. I watch content on YouTube. Before YouTube it was, would be a place for me to waste my time. Now it's a place where I watch educational content. I constantly learn new things. I constantly read new books. And I'm just bettering myself as I write the blog and I'm becoming an expert in what I write about. And trust me, if you're going to do a book about cooking or about a book about technology, sooner or later, you're just going to be so advanced in it. You're also going to become an expert in it. And so, um, like I said, you learn as you blog and also the fact that you're writing is also really cool because you're learning to write. My, the way I wrote right today from when I started, the difference is huge. I had this writing style is so different. My vocabulary has grown tremendously and it doesn't come out only in writing, but also as I speak. So you learn a lot as you blog. Um, new opportunities. The more your blog grows, the more people will come to you with new opportunities for collaborations, for you to help promote their product. Of course, this will bring more money for you and so on. And this cannot be downplayed either. The opportunities. In a way, I kind of see it like you're like a celebrity. So people come to you, they want something from you, they want your help, they're ready to pay big money, they want you to go on their podcasts, on their YouTube channels, and so on. So this is something that has always kept me exciting. For example, you know, when I started a blog, I wrote for some time, I had some traffic coming in, then there was a plateau, and then I was thinking like, okay, this is getting boring. And then somebody comes to you with an opportunity, and you're like, hey, this is pretty exciting. There's some kind of there's something new happening in my life and that's what you're going to get if you become a blogger and you stick to it of course uh, also meeting new people the connections you make like I said people are going to reach out to you some will want you to promote their products some will want to collaborate with you some will simply love what you're doing and will let you know about it and this is the best category of people I'm so happy to talk to these kind of people because this just shows that you're not just sitting and wasting time that there are people that truly care about what you do and there are people that I meet now all over the world. Even most of them are virtual, but you know, as you talk more to them, you understand that they're becoming your friends and that if you travel to those countries, you can meet those people. So meeting new people and creating new connections, networking, if you want, is um, one of the best, biggest benefits of blogging. And then uh, last but not least, uh, this is my personal opinion, is that life becomes a smile. I, I'm so happy to wake up and know that I'm going to work on my blog. I'm so excited to see what it will bring today. I'm so happy when I'm tired going to bed, like, haha, I did this and this and this regarding blogging. It's so amazing. I, I have a purpose. I'm helping other people. And like I said, this brings fulfillment. And that's one of the most enjoyable things out there. That's what brings true happiness. And so I found my purpose through my blog, the, the connections I make, the opportunities I get, the fact that I'm bettering myself, the fact that I'm making money this way. All of this has just created this massive, uh, I don't know how I would even say this, like a ball of excitement and just happiness about the fact that I've, I'm finally doing um, what I enjoy and I'm getting paid for it and it's just amazing. And if you're on the fence, just think about the things that I just mentioned to you. I, I'm not saying that this is a get rich quick thing on the opposite. I'm actually against people saying this thing because it's definitely not blogging takes time. It takes a lot of time. It has a small learning curve, but that means that you're going to have to spend more time putting content out there, writing, researching, communicating with people and so on. It takes time, but bloggers, uh, you know, it's, um, Successful bloggers are some of the happiest people out there because they earn big money doing what they love Working from anywhere in the world they want and being their own boss This is all I wanted to share with you today before you leave if you haven't yet downloaded I have a free guide for you called the seven smart strategies to grow your blog traffic faster uh, I'll leave it in the description down below and this is the guide that I personally use every time I'm about to publish a new blog post This is the, these are the things that I've 
found over the years to be the most effective and I still use them. I make sure I follow these when I create my blog post. So you can get it at the link down in the description. Uh, if you're here for the first time, please subscribe, uh, hit the thumbs up for me. I'll be putting out more content on blogging in the future as well as many other things. And I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope to see you in the next one.